everyone and welcome to our Friday Craft Corner. If we haven't met before, my name is Kat and I am an interpreter with the Sonoma Mendocino Coast District. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we're going to be using a couple of items that you can probably find around your house to make this fun decorated jar. You can use it as a piggy bank or a vase, just something nice to give to a friend, maybe if they have a birthday coming up. So we're going to learn all about how to make this. For this craft, you are going to need glue, water, a small paintbrush, paper, scissors, and any kind of old jar you may have sitting around your house. Today we're going to be decorating this old soy sauce jar so that I can use it as a vase. Before we really get into this and I show you how to make this craft today, I want to say thank you to our Mendocino Area Parks Association. They are a cooperating association that help us fun, really amazing interpretive activities, projects around the park. So thank you so much, Mendo Parks. Now let's go ahead. This craft is a little bit messy. So please make sure that you're in an area where if glue gets anywhere, nobody will get angry at you. So let's go ahead. We're going to get started. I'm going to pan the camera down so you can see what we're doing today. All right, almost there. I'll straighten that out a little bit for you. Great. So a couple of things I have with me today, like I said, I have my paper that I've already cut up into little squares. I picked some of my favorite colors that we see around the state park and in the ocean, but you can use all kinds of paper. Maybe you have an old magazine laying around or tissue paper. You can always use that. And then my glue I have mixed in here. This is about two parts just regular white glue and one part water. Then I have my paintbrush to be able to spread it out. Sometimes I think it's easier to work from the bottom of the jar and then move up. So together we're going to put a couple of these pieces of paper on there so you can really see how it works. I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to cover a good amount of my little soy sauce jar. I'm going to grab one of my pieces of paper. Let's start with a green. I'm going to stick it on the outside. I'm going to grab my paintbrush one more time and then coat the outside of the piece of paper that I just put on. So you can see what I meant. Like you definitely want to have your workspace safe for glue to get anywhere. And all you're going to do is go through, I think I want dark blue. You're going to go through and just stagger these pieces of paper, making sure that there's glue both on top and underneath. And just work your way up. You can see it gets covered really, really fast. Now this craft is nice because you can make something pretty for someone you appreciate or someone that you miss. And it's also really nice because it falls into our reduce, reuse, recycle, refuse. So this is a great way to reuse things around your home that may typically have ended up in the garbage or in the recycling, hopefully in the recycling, not in the garbage when it comes to paper and glass. But it's just another way that we can look at the things that we have around us in our home and realize that well, it doesn't all have to end up as a waste. You can see this builds itself out really, really quickly. I won't make you watch me do the whole thing. I think you could, you get it for it by now. And then the last thing I did on my little example, just to add an extra, extra something, was use some twine right around the top to make a little bow. This doesn't take very long to dry. I'd say that this really big one, it really only took an hour to dry. If you have, you can kind of see how this has um, the label on it right there. You just kind of have to push your paper extra hard around there. Make sure there's no bubbles and you're all good. So I hope you have a wonderful time making this craft. This might be a nice way to sit outside and enjoy another beautiful summer weekend with your friends, with your family, and make sure that we reduce, reuse, recycle, or refuse to have trash in our home. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thanks again for joining me on this craft corner and I will see you next Friday.